All right, here we go. It's been a little while, just been pretty busy. Uh, I want to try and get back to time permitting doing some videos. And because I spent some time with this uh, pretty early in the morning, I figured I would just share it. Uh, the intent of this is to get the WAD client up and going, which uh, if we look wireless hacking devices protocol client you may remember where I did some videos on Mirage uh, which f some of the same uh, developers uh, I guess no longer working on Mirage moved the uh, code base over to, to this WAD client and have uh, moved forward with the development there and so a lot of the same uh, sniffing capabilities uh, transmitting capabilities all that is built into this WAD client but what we want to do is get up and running with some sort of hardware first uh, I will point out this is the latest Dragon OS ISO uh, Dragon OS Noble ISO that I'm working on where I I just packed in a kind of pre set up virtual environment a Python virtual environment that has a WAD client up and uh, well the ability is there to get up and running with the WAD client. There's a lot of steps here. I went down a little bit of a rabbit hole uh, trying to get the latest firmware and I'll show you what I mean here um, as I get set up. But this particular dongle you see here, I didn't really pay much attention to the documents at first and was trying to flash this device and for whatever reason kept pushing this button uh, until it dawned on me. Oh duh, the reset button is here. It's off to the side. so little paper clip will get you get you going you're looking uh, to hold it down for about two seconds uh, after plugging it in USB to the computer and uh, when you release you should get a red light so I'll, I'll walk you through this and uh, by the time we're done uh, we should be able to use this dongle so I have it plugged in USB at the moment and I'm gonna hold down the reset button for two seconds it flashes green once really quick I let go and then it's kind of glowing on and off red at the moment and so we should be set up there and uh, again apologize for jumping all around but this will make sense I'll try and uh, go a little slower here user source WAD client and you'll see that I uh, sim linked a uh, virtual environment that I have in the user source directory so if I go up one directory you can see uh, and it's what is it's about 90 some meg so I thought that was fine to take up a little space because you could use that virtual environment uh, for other things but let's just go right in this directory here we shouldn't have to be root when we activate this virtual environment so you'll see when you run a source on that we're now in VN, V E N V, and if we did a pip list, you see the packages uh, there uh, for the uh, WAD. Let me think. Um, and once you activate this, you're going to get access to a few uh, additional tools like WAD up. And let me think. So no devices uh, found at the moment that dash H didn't really do much, but uh, because this device is in uh, bootloader or DFU mode. So if we look on the WAD client documentation here, um, you click on available, read the docs. Very detailed, just like with Mirage, there was a lot of detailed documentation here. I did include offline documentation based on the current release so if you didn't want to use uh, the internet to get this going in the WAD client doc uh, let me think there is an index.html it's all one file so if we did a Firefox index HTML you'll see uh, where we're on the not not out on the internet so if we want to install the installation of WAD itself is already taken care of. Um, there is some command line tools uh, that can set up um, basically UDEV rules and such. I didn't find that I needed those, but uh, what I'll show you here um, that that is really handy 
uh, oop, back in the virtual environment is the win stall let me think so we want to flash butterfly for example now this works because we put the dongle in the mode that it needs to be or it should work anyways it'll tell you you need to be root it's going to download the nrf util uh, and install the nrf 5 sdk tools and then attempt to flash uh, on the default tty acm zero so just note that if you got some other things plugged in uh, you might want to uh, pass the the port along so we flashed what I thought was the latest butterfly release, but it's actually not. So version 1.0.1 is not the latest, but if we do our WAD up now, we should see that we have one available device there to work with. And the reason why I realized it wasn't the latest butterfly release is when I was running a um, sniffing tool uh, with Wireshark where it pops up real-time uh, Wireshark I saw in the background it was letting me know that because I wasn't running the latest firmware there was going to be an issue with the output in uh, Wireshark so that led me down the rabbit hole of like okay well I want the latest I want the latest firmware then so at this point you can see Dragon OS uh, has WAD on there uh, you could start using follow along the rest of the documentation uh, command line tools and start uh, running some of these commands the generic replay tool the sniffing tool uh, I, oh, I guess I should put point out too is that the Nordic this particular dongle is checked off on all the different um, technologies here that WAD has to offer so I had this dongle laying around for a while I honestly I think I may have got it initially to run sniffle um, but it was in my box and I pulled it out and so here we are now uh, say we want to get the latest firmware up and going we need a couple things and I'm just starting from scratch again just so I can annotate some of the things that I experienced so I noticed uh, the butterfly uh, repository and let's see I don't need to be in the virtual environment for this I'll just go into my downloads I'll do a git clone butterfly and I noticed right away uh, you know when I was doing a, a git submodule init and then a git submodule update uh, it it wanted um, basically you know the permissions and certificates or whatever that's needed uh, to download uh, the submodule here I, I'm sure there's another way uh, I'm just gonna do this manual uh, so if I click on here should take us over to the exact um, commit and I'll do a uh, get clone of that directory within butterfly so just to kind of mimic if I had the uh, grab the sub module and then I'll do a git uh, checkout of CAB 0 C6D. So, and you also notice that uh, it it uh, has a submodule as well, and so this one was fine. Get submodule in it. Get submodule update, and so that'll pull that in. Now, if you go to the top level directory and you try to run a make, it's immediately going to say because the make file if you open it up it's pointed to use this particular SDK and by just Google you know this particular SDK I come along the you know first thing was the mirror of it now you could of course change the the make file obviously uh, but I'm going to go up two directories into just my home folder now if I clone that down <laughs> Uh, we do have the code that we need uh, and again I could change the uh, make file to point at uh, let's see 
I do think that I already have this in place, but uh, what am I doing? I just want to, yeah, I do already have it there, but you could see what I did. I just took, dropped the mirror off, so it's like the, thinks it's in that uh, directory. So if we come back, we're going to find the next issue when we try to run make um, that we cannot find this particular GCC arm none. And uh, it's not normally looking in home dragon downloads. That's because I, let me think, um, that's because I edited this file here. previously and you'll see where I had changed that so although I you know downloaded the SDK again I renamed it I already have that on my file system so that name is still there so where did I get this at and who knows maybe it's fine with a newer build but uh, again just another search led me here to the main page I grabbed uh, and I'll grab it again, the x86-64 bit version. You can see where I grabbed it earlier. Probably a, a good part of what I'm showing you here at some point won't even be needed because the WAD client uh, butterfly release would just be obviously updated and available. It's just the one that's available right now is not the latest. So if I look, I can see I downloaded it. You can use command line to uh, extract it. I, I just just doing it like with the uh, GUI interface here. I'll just extract it into downloads. Makes the directory there. Now I'm going to put the dongle back in the mode that's needed to flash it. So again, hold it, reset button for two seconds or so. You should get the glowing red light. We've got our directory here. Now I'll show you the next problem we're going to run into. So I changed, you know, to home dragon downloads so that uh, this directory lines up. Now if I run a make send command, which should make everything. Oh, oh, one other thing, because the make file expects a uh, dist directory, it'll fail if we don't make that directory. So now say I want to make, uh, say I just want to run make. Make will run and compile things. Uh, it'll ultimately end up completing because we, make that, we made that uh, dist directory, but I want to flash uh, the device from this tool. To do that, you'll, you'll see the other error that's going to pop up as soon as this finishes. All right, so because we made that directory, you know, everything, you know, completed, we built. But what I want to do is run make uh, send, I believe it is. But you'll see the error that we're going to get. It talks about the NRF uh, utility uh, missing and, and such. So if you remember back when we ran the uh, command line tool of WAD, it actually grabbed that utility for us and put it in the temp directory. So if I just do a temp NRF util and move it into the butterfly directory and it already installed if you recall the NRF 5k whatever it was SDK tools and then let's take a look at our let me think I think it's the make file come down a little bit somewhere here
and we get to the first instance here. I'm not really caring about the MDK dongle. And so, you know, because I don't have it actually like installed with pip or whatever, I'll just put the dot slash in there so that in the current directory, it's going to run that tool and generate and flash the device. So control O, save that and control X. So now if I run my make send, it is going to, or it should, flash the uh, dongle. You should see progress there. We have it in the mode that it needs to be in. Now we're going to have, instead of the 1.0.1 uh, .1 release, if we look back at our commands, <clears throat> let me think. Let's look at our documentation, wherever I have that. Let's look at the command line tools. You can see we want to use the WAD up. Yep, right there. So you can do the WAD up. We know it's UART zero and we can get more info on that device. So WAD. Oh, but we got to be in our um, virtual environment that has WAD up. And we want to look at UART zero for some more information. You can see all what is supported list of commands. But the big thing we're looking for is the version number. So now we're on 1.1.0. You can now start using some of the tools here, like the, um, let me think, the sniffer tool I started uh, messing with. So I'm not going to run it uh, in this particular video, and, and um, I, I need to set up an environment so it's not showing all of my own uh, devices and things that are around me. But if I did for example, WSNF uh, UART 0, uh, say I added the dash W for Wireshark, and say I wanted, well, let's see, if I do a dash H, throw a dash H on there, we can see we have the arguments here of the different technologies that we can uh, look at. Pretty sure I don't have no uh, unifying, let me, let me see if that's actually, uh, so that would be what would be the domain. I don't think I have any actually I do have a unifying device but this should pop up Wireshark at, with nothing because I don't have anything uh, that is uh, at least on at the moment that's doing that well maybe I do actually let me just stop this here a second nope don't want to save well uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll blank some of that out, but um, you can see that you can use this dongle for these various different technologies for sniffing and playback and, and everything else. In a later video, when I have a, a, a better environment set up, I will try to dig in a little bit more and show some of the tools chained together. What's really exciting is uh, about the possibility of more uh, hardware being supported by this for example uh, maybe the cat sniffer version 3 at some point uh, yeah well hopefully this is valuable I really just wanted to show how to get up and going with the latest Dragon OS ISO that I'll put out uh, and make available I mean obviously you could install the WAD client uh, following the um, directions uh, you know on anything uh, but I just wanted to make it easy, and I also, because the latest firmware is not currently compiled, I'm just making notes of how I built that firmware. Yeah, all right, well, have a good one, and thank you.